This is a monumental year for Unifor. We will celebrate our 10th anniversary. We will celebrate our struggles, our victories, and the difference we have made together as a powerful force in Canada. This year is also significant because of the many, many rounds of major collective bargaining happening across our union, with more than 80,000 members fighting for better conditions of work and the good jobs of today and the future. With all of this, we are building worker power boldly and on our own terms. Unifor is a very proud Canadian union. Our predecessor unions, both the CEP and CAW, emerged as flag bearers for this country's own workers' movement. In 1985, Canadian auto workers made the historic decision to form their own truly independent Canadian union. This single daring act changed the entire face of the Canadian labour movement as we know it. We knew that to defend and advance the interests of workers in Canada, we couldn't operate in the shadow or at the direction of the United States. We had to stand on our own two feet. We had to lead, not follow. And it was the best decision we could have possibly made. Canadian auto workers have a long, proud history of social solidarity and militancy. We bargain tough, we bargain strategically, and we don't back down. From the earliest days of the Canadian labour movement, auto workers were ready to fight for workers' rights everywhere. We've built a union committed to building worker power. We are always in the best position to determine our future in our own way. Auto Talks 2023 is the next milestone for our union. These negotiations come at a historic time, during a once-in-a-century transformation of the auto industry. Also, for the first time in a generation, our D3 negotiations will take place at the same time as UAW bargaining. The UAW has an important job to do and very unique set of challenges to overcome. I'm certain though that we will do well by each other in this round of talks because both our unions have committed to dialogue, close contact, and yes, solidarity. But to be clear, we have our own job to do for our members, and that's our focus, and it will remain our focus. That's my promise to you. These talks will build on the multi-billion dollar investments and product commitments our union has worked so very hard to secure. But we will also deal with the issues that matter the most to our members, pensions and wages, affordability, and yes, income security. Since 2020, not only have we fought to make these promised investments a reality, but we have expanded on them, secured more new products for our plants, and grown Canada's auto footprint. Most importantly, we've secured the good paying union jobs that come with that expanded footprint. I have personally walked the shop floor of every single one of our auto assembly plants, meeting with auto workers one-on-one -on -one in advance of this round of bargaining. In between these visits was another huge success story, the restarting of construction of the Stellantis LG battery facility in Windsor. Shovels are back in the ground because we made it clear, Unifor made it clear to the company and to politicians that there would be hell to pay unless everyone made good on their commitments to build that plant and create the thousands of good jobs that workers were promised. We know that Canadian auto workers can build anything and everything for the industry of the future. Unifor auto workers have always led the way. Whether it's fighting for and winning fundamental labor rights as we know them today, or standing shoulder to shoulder in solidarity to lay out a bold new vision for the Canadian auto industry. I am ready. The Unifor bargaining team is ready. Together we will fight for you, for your priorities and for your families. We have so much to do and we're just getting started. Solidarity, friends.